Being a practicing oncologist, I'm frequently asked about the cause of breast cancer. Can doing this or that or eating this or that cause cancer? Though there are a number of legitimate risk factors for cancer, the web is overrun with unsubstantiated claims backed by minimal or poor quality research. So join me, Dr. Shubham Pan, as I bust myths about breast cancer. I only use body spray because I've heard antiperspirants cause cancer. No studies have shown a link between the two and this theory has been roundly debunked. So don't sweat it. There is no good data to back this claim. I've heard underwear bras cause cancer. No again. A large-scale study found no evidence of bra-wearing habits and any type of cancer in 1,500 postmenopausal women. Not the underwire, not the straps, not wearing a bra at night, or the size of the bra. All have no link to breast cancer. Dude, if your mom has breast cancer, then you will get it too. Here's the thing, only 10% of breast cancer is hereditary, and that means 90% is not. As for this 10% risk, you can inherit cancer genes from both your mother and father's side of the family. I'm not worried. Men don't get breast cancer. Now that is simply not true. The risk of breast cancer is lower in men than women because A, men have minimal breast tissue and B, a number of breast cancers are dependent on a hormone called estrogen that is predominantly present in women. But men do get breast cancer. So guys, if you find a lump in your chest, don't act all macho. Go to a doctor and get it checked. You do know coffee causes breast cancer, right? Currently, there is no connection between drinking caffeine and breast cancer. In fact, some research suggests that caffeine might actually lower your risk. So don't hesitate, go grab that cup of coffee. Now, breast cancer is serious. However, many women think that its diagnosis is a death sentence. But in reality, if caught early, breast cancer is usually treatable and most survivors live a normal life. Now, you can't change your genes, but a healthier lifestyle can make all the difference. 